Some nights, there's a bad moon rising. For the bad guys, that is. Mark Spector, the Moon Knight. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Mark Spector, otherwise known as Moon Knight. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1975's Werewolf by Night number 32 to 33, which was expanded upon in 1980's Moon Knight number 1 and 1981's Moon Knight number 4. Moon Knight was introduced as a rather ambiguous figure, not exactly a villain, but not quite a hero either, in a 1975 Werewolf by Night storyline. Jack Russell, the titular werewolf, found himself hunted by a mysterious, faceless figure clad all in white who was determined to capture him. The figure told Russell that he could call him Moon Knight. In fact, Moon Knight's real name was Mark Spector. Under that name, Spector had established a successful career as a mercenary. His resume included jobs in hotspots all over the world, often specializing in locations in turmoil due to civil wars or revolutions. Spectre had been invited to a meeting with an organization known only as the Committee. Comprised of extremely wealthy businessmen, the Committee hired Spectre to capture Jack Russell and bring him to them, for reasons of their own. They also supplied Spectre with a costume and an alias to use on this mission. Spectre donned his ghostly outfit and proceeded to utilize his considerable skills to capture his prey. After delivering Russell to the committee, Moon Knight learned that they planned to use Russell in his werewolf form as their own private killing machine. Upon hearing of their plans and being goaded by Russell's sister and friend, who had also been captured, Moon Knight's conscience kicked in. He freed Russell and the other captives and helped them fight their way free of the committee. Over his next few appearances in various Marvel titles, Moon Knight shifted into a more straightforward hero role. His origin was retold in a story arc that began in the first issue of his own 1980 comic book. I hunt thugs to please the Moon God. In this retelling, Mark Spector is a mercenary who is working in Sudan with his colleague Frenchie. After their boss, a nasty piece of work named Bushman, killed an archaeologist, Spector rescued the archaeologist's daughter Marlene. When Bushman killed more innocent civilians, Spectre was pushed too far and rebelled. Bushman defeated him and left him for dead in the desert, but he crawled back to Marlene just before he died. Moments later, however, the statue of Khonshu, god of the moon and vengeance, brought him back to life. Taking the statue's robe, he began his career as Moon Knight. Along the way, he adopted two other alter egos, a cab driver and a millionaire playboy, in order to aid him in his quest for vengeance. I am Khonshu's Blade of Vengeance. This version of Moon Knight's origin was somewhat at odds with the story told in his first appearance. Things were then cleared up by the fourth issue, when a flashback revealed that Moon Knight and Frenchie knew of the committee and wanted to investigate it. Frenchie disguised himself as a wealthy industrialist. When he learned of the plans to capture the werewolf, he convinced the committee to hire Spectre for the job. He also brought in Moon Knight's costume, claiming he had created it. Pretending to work for the committee, Moon Knight actually brought about its downfall. Video game enthusiasts have had ample opportunity to experience Moon Knight in gaming situations. He can be found in Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, and others. His forces are already at large. The heist involving Black Cat was just the beginning. Being resurrected by the God of Vengeance does make a guy a pretty formidable opponent. I wear white so they'll see me coming. Are you a fan of Moon Knight? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.